what up guys so quick little video um actually we'll be doing some tuning but uh i just threw the hood back on um trying to get it lined up so like this side i got it perfect and this side where as the rust spot it's not perfect but uh, i'm gonna be changing this hood anyways the exhaust is under here somewhere so <clears throat> I'm going to have to cut it, which we all know is something that you have to do when you run a hood exit. But uh, there's been a lot of changes. There's been a lot of changes. Um, I haven't really been updating everything. Just sort of couldn't keep track anymore. Um, but uh, so right now what I did was I cut the webbing where I believe the exhaust is. And what I'm going to do is um, just use a marker, mark right here and mark right here. And once I s close the hood, I'll tap down on the hood and it should touch the exhaust and leave a paint mark. That way I can cut some holes in it. I'm using my Milwaukee right here, set. Um, so it has all the all the sizes. I cut metal with it. I cut a lot of wood with it. It's really really good thing to have. So um, I'll be using that, making two holes in the hood. Um, I redid the exhaust since the last video because uh, the clocking flange on the exhaust manifold it clocked the turbo so much that it didn't return oil properly and oil was sneaking into the exhaust getting burnt up and eventually blowing up my uh o2 sensors or wide bands i welded a dump tube as well right next to it um i relocated the location of my wide bands so it's no longer at the bottom the bottom was a bad idea because all of the condensation goes right on it burns it out so best thing to do was to put it over here and put it on the left side because i did watch the condensation it builds up and it slides up the right you would think it'd be on the left because of airflow but it's not it slides up this way and i think that would just cause more damage um, i did get a air filter i got rid of the rsx throttle cable and i'm using the original a D16 one, Y8, I believe this one is. Um, I upgraded to a Honda 4 bar because I started making 11 PSI and can't read past that. So I did make that change as well. Nothing with the fueling or anything over here. Um, I had a bunch of uh, boost leaks, so Anytime you do any of this, just make yourself a boost leak tester. It's it's cheap. You could you could do this at uh, Home Depot, Menards, uh, Farm and Fleet. Throw it on here. Take off the oil cap, and put like five to ten psi in it. I had a leak on the intake manifold gasket, which is a thermal, and I had a leak coming from the blow valve diaphragm um always always check this you guys so these bolts that go into the turbo with the flanges the rotating flange um if the bolts go all the way into the housing like all the way through it you're gonna have major boost leaks here so what, what i ended up doing was just taking all the bolts out and using a rtv on them I RTV'd them and there's no more leaks. But uh, yeah, if the bolts go all the way through, it's a major leak right there. Um, other than that, I just been uh, driving it around, doing some uh, bass tuning. There's the wide band. Um, I'm using a guy named Ed off of Honda Tech. So I think it's tuned by Ed. And uh, he's been doing a great job, he's been very patient. We've been sending each other at least a lot one log back every day um 
Don't go with these cheap idle air control valves from eBay because it, it was leaking here as well. Um, also, big, big, big thing that messed me up. Uh, I forgot to switch my RSX uh, axles. So the, the inners, you're supposed to pop them off and rotate them around, making the driver's side one shorter, making the passenger side one longer. Um, I went for a drive, did a first time first gear, snapped the driver's side axle, bought a new axle um, on that side, went for a drive, snapped the axle on that side. But it was weird because it didn't snap in half. It popped out. It popped out of the inner. So right there, you can imagine it popped out. So I went and bought a brand new axle for that too. And... Um, Went for a drive, it popped out again. So, you know, I'm thinking to myself, well, before I warranty another brand new axle, something is wrong. And then I figured out that that's what I forgot to do. So the brand new axles, I tried to swap the inners and it didn't work. So on aftermarket axles, you can't swap the inners. So that sucks. And you can't like pop off the outers. I tried. If you can do it, you're amazing. But the outers, they're, they're, they're like impossible to, to snap. So um, what you could do is the 06 and up SI, which is a 36 mil. That one, that, that axle is longer. So you can run that one on the passenger side, but then you have to have a 36 mil um, hub, which two front hubs are like $300. So uh, I just went on um, I just went on Insane Shaft on their website, uh, bought Insane Shaft uh, axles. They're like five hundred ninety five dollars. You can't go on Google like I did and just look up coupons. I found a five percent off coupon, so I saved some money there. Bought axles for the five hundred horsepower ones. Um, if you're unsure, give them a call. They're super helpful. I called them. I was like, hey, I have this set up. What part number do I need so I can look it up myself? And I went on the website, looked it up, and ordered them. So they came here within three to four days. Um, also, you can use uh, uh, Burden Racing, I believe. That's how you say it. That's where I got my ECU. They're pretty cool, too. But, uh, yeah, let's go throw on the... Um, the latest map that the guy sent me uh so right now we're redlining at 8000 rpms keeping it safe and vtech is turned off so we have vtech at like 9000 rpms once we're getting good clean pulls the way it is then we're going to turn on vtech and we're going to start tuning with vtech and then we're going to start bumping up the rpms okay so i just used some uh touch-up paint right there and i press down on the hood and there's my two holes you can you can see exactly where they are so we will make a three inch hole and a 1.8 1.9 i believe okay <laughs> that's how it looks for now um definitely need to or should have extended my exhaust and dump by at least oh another two inches would have been perfect but um i'm thinking about getting the oval tips anyways which the oval tip will bring it up and over to the side um now i'm thinking about cutting like this and like this so i have that like teardrop type but i can leave it like this now too who cares just to see how it looks.
right so there it is um, I got a couple locks in but with updating uh, from stock map sensor to the four bar it leans out so we got cut out a couple times uh, we need to um, lean out the, <clears throat> the the idle so we need to be in like high 14s and uh, we need in in um, in boost we need uh, more fuel so we're leaning out 